Okay, what we're going to be doing um, today is a dissection of a pig's heart. Um, the equipment that we're going to be using is a dissecting kit over here, some surgical gloves, a tray to put your heart in, and of course the heart. In terms of equipment that we need to make sure we're protected is a lab coat, and obviously we'll put the gloves on, um, and making sure that hair is tied back, no earrings and no jewellery. Okay, the reason why we do a heart section is basically to identify all the parts of the heart so that we can actually um, see you know, how it's structured and then relate that to how it actually works. Okay, right, now we're actually going to maybe start on the actual dissection of the heart. So first of all, I need to put my gloves on. I already have the lab coat on. And we need to make sure we've got the equipment in front of us that we need. Now the main bits of equipment that we're going to be using are this dissecting kit, our scalpel, some scissors, possibly some tweezers, and a mounted knee needle as well. Right, before we actually start um, cutting the heart open, let's have a look at some of its structures. Okay. Right, now on the outside of the heart, you've actually got um, a membrane called the pericardium, which we may be able to actually identify using the tweezers, but it's a very thin membrane to protect the heart, so it's quite difficult to actually identify. Okay, you can see a little bit coming off there, but basically that's covered around the heart to actually protect it. Now, the heart is split into the left and the right side. The left side is more muscular um, because it pumps the blood to um, the whole body whereas the right side um, actually only pumps it to the, to the lungs. Now at the bottom of the heart you've got um, the apex. Um, you've also got blood vessels that you can see at the top here. Okay? You've got arteries and veins which take the blood to the different parts of the body. Okay, That's what the other side of the heart looks like. And now we'll look at actually cutting open the heart. So we're actually going to take some scissors and actually cut into uh, one of the blood vessels at the top here. So we'll make an incision down there. It's quite tough because it's a muscular organ. No, it's, it's got cardiac muscle in it. What we're actually cutting down into there is actually one of um, the blood vessels. Okay, so you can see the inside of one of the blood vessels there. Okay, so we've cut down um, through one of the blood vessels um, and now we've actually cut down into one of the chambers of the heart. Okay, not difficult to see there, but in the top there you've got the right atrium and you can actually see here one of the valves. Now that will lead down um, into the second chamber at the bottom, which is the right ventricle. Um, and then if we actually turn, turn the heart over on this side, which you can see is, is much bigger, is the left atrium at the top and you've got the left ventricle at the bottom. So those are your two chambers and they are divided um, divided up using a valve to stop back flow of blood. You can actually see some of the blood still in here. Um, this will turn into blood clots. Um, basically um, the heart um, pumps blood around the body so you've got your four chambers. Um, the right side of the heart will actually take um, blood without actually having any oxygen and the artery, the pulmonary artery, will actually then pump it round to um, the lungs to pick up oxygen. It then goes back into the left side of the heart through the pulmonary vein and then it's actually pumped out at the top of the heart through the aorta, which is a major, major artery in the heart, and pumped to the rest of the body. This is why the left side is bigger and it's um, more muscular. So the bottom, the bottom chamber here, the ventricle, the walls are much muscular, much more muscular because they actually have to pump it around the whole body. So you can see see those there. 
So your atriums are at the top and your ventricles are at the bottom. Now at the top here you've got some, some arteries, um, that's obviously your aorta, and then the one we cut open was a vena cava, which is the one that supplies the blood to the heart that's actually been around the body and all the oxygen has been used up. And then on the other arteries um, and veins that you have, you have the pulmonary artery, um, which goes to the lungs, and then the pulmonary vein, which comes back from the lungs. Now, not all of these are able to be identified on here because um, you can't actually see all the artery they've been actually cut off um, for the purpose of this dissection.